All right, folks, Tom, your frugal prepper. Um, we're going to be, uh, the goal today is just to get the oil pump installed. Uh, on this motor, you have to install the oil pump before you can put the balance shaft sprocket on because there's one bolt that goes in behind it. Um, I don't think we're going to get the sprocket on and get the motor set in time and all that today. I got to go to work in the morning, so I only have an hour or so to spend out here in the garage, but hey, an hour is an hour. So, oil pumps over here, and um, let me just go ahead and bring it over here and show you. So, what we've got is our oil pump, and this bolts up to the balance shaft assembly. Your uh, sprocket comes right here you know in the middle and this actually rotates in here and it'll turn this whole assembly and basically what it does is the oil comes in from the bottom down here it picks it up and then as it turns it squeezes it out the other side which then takes it out this top half of the oil pump assembly this oil pump looks like freaking new there is just not really hardly a wear mark on it um, you know I did want to take it apart and inspect it all but everything looks great in here um, as you can see it's just it looks like new practically so I'm perfectly 100% a-okay with reusing this oil pump and not replacing it um, if you got one that's really gummed up and really has signs of having a lot of dirty oil through it and it's scored up probably a good idea to replace this rather than reuse it if you're doing a rebuild it's a low mileage engine that just had a failure of a piston ring so nothing else is really wrong with this engine so we're reusing the pump um, so basically we'll get this put back in get it torqued to spec and at least I've accomplished something today rather than saying oh I don't have very long I can't get nothing done um, so let's go ahead and get to it alright so here's our installed uh, balance shaft assembly as we left it at the end of the previous video um, right here is the shaft that's going to drive our oil pump and then we got some long bolts that go in this guy including one that comes in right here through this uh, balance behind this balance shaft sprocket where it goes through this hole and so this should be pretty simple I've got my directions here uh, which is basically we have to make we have to make sure that we uh, disconnect the negative battery cable I'm pretty sure since the battery is up in my loft that that is disconnected all right so um, this is a removal and replacement procedure so it tells you to remove the balance shaft sprocket and all that um, but basically here it shows you the bolts so when we put this back in I think there is just says tighten the long bolts to 12 newton meters or 106 inch pounds well the only bolts that hold this oil pump on are long bolts I think the short, it says tighten the short bolts to 89 inch pounds. I'm pretty sure it's talking about the bolts that are going to hold on the cover for the balance shaft since it told us to take that off. Um, and then, you know, it goes through the whole tensioning the chain procedure. It's really interesting here that it doesn't have you check the timing of the balance shaft in these uh, directions. Now, the other directions that's specifically for replacing the balance shaft assembly walks you through how to time it. But if you were to do this in the car and take that balance shaft sprocket loose, these counterweights, you know, these counterweights in here are going to move. Whichever way gravity pulls them. And you would be putting this back out of time if you didn't time it. I, I found that really intriguing that it doesn't, doesn't make any mention of that in the Chilton's book. So if you're doing this in the car, get the oil pan off, replacing an oil pump, realize that you know these spin whichever way 
gravity turns them, you see it doesn't stay. Like if I have it right there, it rolls back. Pulls those weights down to the bottom. So you will need to make sure that you go through the timing procedure when you put this sprocket back on, or the engine's going to shake itself apart. So <coughs> we'll go ahead and install our oil pump. I'm going to kind of turn this sideways a little more. Make sure you can kind of see down in here what we're doing. So basically, um, let's see which way this goes. I think it goes something like that. So there's basically a hole right here, right? And that lines up with this hole right here. That's where it picks up the oil from. And so we just have to kind of move this centerpiece around a little to get it to go and get lined up and then it slides in there so now as these balance shafts turn you can see here how this oil pump actually works isn't that cool I love oil pumps they're just like the sweetest thing in the world so anyway um, we'll go ahead here and uh, get the outer cover put on, just wipe this down, make sure there's no dirt or lint in here. And this just goes on, you see there's a big hole right here. So that lines up with this kind of hole spot right here. And you see down here is the rest of this, and this is where the oil will then pump back out of here through somewhere. I think it goes back through this hole and back down through one of these bolts yeah it comes back down and goes through this bolt hole here so we'll go ahead we'll put this on it doesn't really stay there till we put a bolt in and then we've got I guess we do have one bolt that's shorter so that must be what it was talking about got four long bolts and one shorter bolt so that must be the one with the different torque spec okay so I'll just come up here get this all tightened down or just start it in I should say not tighten down I think that must take the shorter one so get this one in and this one And then this one goes in your balance shaft hole and goes all the way through into the oil pump. Uh, I can't really tighten that one much by hand. It's just going to have to have a socket. And then we got this one shorter one that goes right here. These bolts do not call for Loctite like they did on the balance shaft assembly. Okay, so now let me get some, some sockets and we'll get these torqued up on here. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is just get all these bolts tightened up. We got one, the short bolt is an 8mm, the rest of these are 10mm, so I'm just going to get them snugged up here. Okay, and then we got this 8mm, we'll snug him up. Boy, I don't know. It's going all the way through here. I don't think that's the right bolt. Okay, so apparently uh, this bolt here was supposed to be this 8mm that matches this one. It looks like this one went here. Maybe. I don't know. I'm still trying to... Yeah. So this one I think goes here. Luckily, that was the last one in my torque sequence, so I don't have to redo everything. I can just retorque that guy down.
That looks better. Okay, so go ahead and set up my torque wrench here. All right, so there is no torque sequence to this. I'll just try to kind of go across, but I gotta do this one last. So I'll start with this one right here. come down here and I'll go over here there's that one now we'll do this one there's that one and then I'm gonna do this one and then I'm gonna get over here I think that bolts in my way I'll just check these. Well, I got the wrench set. And now I'll go ahead and dial this back to 89 inch pounds. And we'll do this one right here 89 inch pounds. Oil pump install and seems to turn fine. I turn this balance shaft back here. All right, so that's how we install an oil pump. Pretty simple procedure. Uh, nothing really to it. I guess the thing would be if you're doing this in the car and you're following the Chilton's directions. I did not look it up in all data or the factory service manual I have. I just went by Chilton's. It does not tell you anything about retiming the engine when you put that sprocket on there, but you better make sure it's in time if you're doing it in the car. Um, and there's no way to get the oil pump off without removing that sprocket. Um, I think that's really all you have to think about. Um, um, other than that, it seems like a pretty straightforward procedure. This oil pump's in perfect condition. That's why I'm not replacing it. Although I have heard that the oil pump can be a weak spot on these. But this engine is particularly clean. It has low mileage. It does have a bad piston ring. Um, so that's where we're at. Um, it's probably going to be spring before I get this thing back in the car and get it finished. I did send the head over today to the machine shop. I don't know how long it will take them to get that done. But there's a good chance I may have this thing built and ready before spring. But it's probably going to get packed up in the corner until spring because it's 8 degrees outside. So I am not going out in the driveway to put an engine in this thing. I could clean this crap out of my garage um, and maybe make room to do it in here. We'll see. Um, that might be an option if I really feel like getting it done. Um, it's just going to be time of a tight squeeze in my garage to get the car in here and have enough room up front to put an engine in. Maybe I can get rid of this old coal furnace. If anybody around Ohio would like a big giant coal furnace, talk to me. It's got like a big blower on it. Um, I just don't have room for it. But, uh, you know, maybe and I can move the toolbox and stuff, make more room up front. It's possible. I could do it in the garage. We'll see. But uh, that's why I'm not in a big hurry to get it done. I'm just going to take my time and work on it a little here and there. You know, uh, the secret to success, I believe, or, or success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. Um, it's something that Robert Collier originally said. It's his quote. Um, I think uh, some people get really obsessed doing a certain task and they let everything else kind of go. They're kind of just hyper-focused on that one task. And uh, you usually find that those kind of people, while they might have moments of greatness where they accomplish a lot, they usually end up accomplishing less overall. And they usually can't repeat the process over and over again without getting completely bored with it. Um, so, yeah, I'm one of those people. I'll just do a little here, a little there. And, uh, you know, I might do... 
20 different things that I work on during the day, different projects, different things I have to do, and I just put them in. And I try to focus on what I'm focused on at the time I'm focused on it, but I might not be able to do one thing from start to finish, but I can come out here for an hour, do this, and then uh, go back in the house and uh, work on something else. So I'll talk to y'all later. Everybody, be happy. Be frugal, and if you're in Ohio, try to stay warm.